My name is Maina, a teacher of mathematics of many years. Welcome back to our mathematics class. This cl class is a continuation of the last one where we looked at completing the square. And uh, today we want to look at how we can use completing the square method to solve quadratic equations with the coefficient of x squared greater than 1 or like we say greater than unity the example is here for us so step number one we move the six to the other side and because the sign here is negative on the other side it is going to be positive so we have Now, because the coefficient of x squared is not 1 this time, we will need to divide by that coefficient throughout. And when we do that, we get the next step is completing the square. Remember, we are looking for something to add on this side to complete the square. But we must remember, because there is an equal sign, we must do that addition on both sides. So the dash we have put here will be completed using the a half of the coefficient of the middle term squared. In this case, the coefficient of x, which is the middle term, is a half. So we get a half of a half squared. And that is a, a half of a half squared. And we are going to add it to both sides to maintain the balance. A half of a half squared is uh, 1 over 16, so we are adding 1 over 16 on both sides. So this one can now be written clearly as We now can take the square root, we can get what, whatever was squared on this side in order to get x squared plus x over 2 plus 1 over 16. And like you are doing in the other case, we will get the square root of x squared which is x and whatever is inside this bracket. And therefore we have The next step is to get the square root on both sides. And remember we said the square root of a number is either positive or negative. There are two possibilities. So we have the next step is to move a quarter to the other side so that we remain with x only on this side, the unknown. And now we need to get the LCM, which in this case is 16. And then we have 48 plus 1. Looks like we are almost through with the question because from here we can work out the values of x comfortably as follows. Mm -hmm. 
the square root of 49 over 16 will be 7 over 4. And therefore, the values of x are minus a quarter plus 7 over 4 or minus a quarter minus 7 over 4. Let's see what that simplifies to. Therefore, x is 1.5 or negative 2. We are going to stop there for now. Join me in our next class where we are going to discuss a topic that has been requested by one of our viewers, SADS. A viewer has requested that we discuss the topic on SADS and that's what we are going to discuss in our next video. Remember to subscribe so that we can continue the, this discussion.